Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Lab Foot TV. Um, here with Dunk again, and today we are going to make it our mission to get the Ignis running again. So, we've got clutch kit, fresh, uh, so we can stick fresh clutch in the new engine. New radiator because we had one broken radiator and the radiator that was in this car was dodgy so like the, the radiator cap wasn't twisting on properly and stuff so we just got a new radiator and then we know it's right and we're not going to have coolant problems again so um, yeah today we're going to stick the clutch uh, into the new engine, new water pump, new, new belt and then we're going to chuck the engine back into the car so yeah. Hopefully have it making noises. So we've got the old clutch out, um, it's not that bad to be honest with you but it's been very hot at some point, the whole inner has gone like bright purple, um, yeah you can see there it's been pretty hot warm at some point, um, but yeah it, it doesn't look that old but while we've got it off there's no point in chucking an old clutch back in it so we'll, uh, yeah, we'll chuck the new one in, get it all lined up and then chuck a bit of gearbox back on. Yeah, so when you compare the two, the springs and stuff are very loose in that one. Whereas that one's solid. I think that that one's been cooked at some point by the looks of it. Okay. We're in business. Let's do this. So uh, we have got the gearbox on, uh, gearbox is in, clutch is in, uh, everything seems to be working okay. We are just putting a fresh water pump on, so uh, basically you've got a um, belt on tension, so you just undo this bolt, bottom bolt, move the, move the alternator in, belt, belt popped off, uh, we just buzzed the water pump pulley bolts off with the gun and now we're just taking the water pump uh, bolts out and yeah 
just before you do that, let's make sure that we've got the right water pump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, yeah, I just want to buzz gun all the time. <laughs> about right doesn't it yeah yeah looks happy sweet take it off then yeah. let's do this get zappy zappy yeah uh, probably need to just tap it with a hammer or something there's a big one there just tap it gently with that because it's probably a bit excessive <laughs> Sweet. Doesn't look too bad to be honest. No, it looks pretty good, but the fins are slightly different, but that's probably just going to be more efficient, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool beans. Do we need to prime it or anything? Or is it um, just yeah, so we just need to clean this surface up here and then um, just chuck it back on with a new gasket. It didn't look like it didn't have any gasket or sealant. No, oh no, it's got sealant there, I think. That's sealant. There. Minimal. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll clean that up and then we'll um, chuck a new one. Cool. So we've uh, just cleaned the surface off so it's nice and clean. Got a fresh gasket that came with the water pump and then we've got the water pump here. So um, we're just going to chuck it back on. And get the gasket nice and mated up yeah. in the right place. Dunk's just tightening up the alternator brackets. We've got the um, pulley back on, so basically once you've got those bolts in, it's just the four bolts holding the pulley and then the alternator belt back on. So we've got a fresh alternator belt on there as well. Uh, fresh water pump, fresh clutch. Um, the only thing that I couldn't get hold of was a fresh thermostat, which I would have liked to have put in, but um, they didn't have any in stock, so. Um, yeah, I couldn't get the thermostat, which is a bit annoying, um, but I can always check, change it later down the line. Uh, so yeah, I think we're ready to go back in the car. Nice. Um, so yeah, we'll get it all hooked up on the crane and chuck it back in on its mount. On our fresh new... Uh, non, oh yeah, on our... Non-destifying. <laughs> Less sketchy engine. Is the padlock already in the bin? <laughs> I feel like we should mount it on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just a little plaque on the wall. <laughs> Spanner with <laughs> a nice ratchet gun. Yeah. And then you can't get your fingers under it, and there you go. So what we're doing is 
changing the gear selector. So um, obviously this engine is out of the rusty, the rusty car. Um, so what's happened uh, is the pin has stuck. Um, yeah, so what's happened, the, um, the rubber from the gear linkage off that car has basically seized onto this gear selector and we can't get it off. So we're just gonna take the whole gear selector mechanism out. And then we've taken the one out of this box, which is here. Yeah, it's in much better condition. So we're gonna just chuck that straight into the gearbox and then we can, um, yeah, just connect it up. And it makes it easier for us to put the gearbox oil in because we've got a big hole in the top of the box. We can just pour it straight into the top of the box, which is a bonus. So we uh, got the gear selector out, we're just pouring the gearbox oil in. So it takes 75.90. Uh, it says that it takes 2.2 liters of it. So um, we ch chuck two, two of these tubs and a little bit in it. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly 2.2 liters, but as long as it's somewhere near. Um, so yeah, I've had this gearbox oil sat on the shelf for so long. <laughs> Finally going to the duty. Yeah. So, it's looking a little bit more complete. We've got Alex here for moral support. <laughs> yeah. I'm really Um So, yeah, we've got the radiator in, uh, we've got oil in, gearbox oil in, uh, we need to put some coolant in. Dunk's just hooking up the battery now, we've got the header tank bracket to go back on and the header tank, and then we should technically be good to Dunkey. start it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're getting there. Um, Alex has come in his MR2, which has changed colour. It has. Well, uh, yeah. since it was last on the channel. I mean, nothing's actually happened, just from, from <laughs> So, yeah, this, uh, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, Alex was on with uh, grey or silver? Yeah, silver. Silver, yeah, yeah silver MR2. Um, and now it's red. <laughs> Um, it's got lots of shit on the inside, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've brought the misses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's exactly what I'm really on for. I'm so happy you got that. <laughs> so, we are finally back together. Dunk's just putting the um, master bit. cylinder back on. Um, I've topped the coolant up, so I've used this G48 coolant. It's pretty important in these that you use the right, this G48 coolant. Um, the reason is the head gasket corrodes if you don't, and the head gasket goes, really which is in. probably what happened because it was basically just full of water. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, so G48, I bought this from Halfords. Um, you can pretty much get it anywhere that sells, yeah, coolant. Um, but yeah, we're just going to bolt that master cylinder back on and then we should be good to start it up, I think. So, we are back together, we are going to try and start the car. Yeah. Um, Everything's where it's supposed to be. It doesn't matter how many times you do this, I get nervous. It's the same as the last engine, it needs to work, it should. Yeah. 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 Well, technical difficulties in three, two, one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I did that last time. That's what we Make sure it's out of here, we don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> So it runs, uh, we had a few issues with the coolant pipes and stuff, 
but we are uh, hungry and tired, <laughs> so we're gonna go home and then come back tomorrow and finish everything off and get it running properly. Um, yeah, get drive shafts and stuff plugged back in. So yeah, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. <laughs> so so um, today we are just going to bang the front end back on, we're going to put the drive shafts in. Alex is here in his uh, 35 pound banger outside. <laughs> Alex came yesterday while we were doing the engine in his MR2 because Sarah wanted to buy an MR2. Which is and, a nice car. Which is a nice car. And then he gets here and is like, oh yeah, I've just won a new car uh, for £35. <laughs> He's here in a bloody Audi RS4. <laughs> but this is... got from a list of things that I've done to this car because uh, <laughs> I have driven it, I've insured it. How's it the keys. How does it feel to have the cheapest car in the garage? <laughs> uh, Good, it's about right normally, yeah. <laughs> just just so you know, my van over there is worth t 20 times more than your RS4. <laughs> um, 20 times more? Yeah, yeah. Does it make good noise? No, not quite. It's more like... <laughs> Give it a rev. <laughs> yeah, I've got... broken. <laughs> it's like when you get a new phone and you don't quite know how to yeah. work it yet. Sweet. It'll do for £35. Yeah. I think that's all right. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> that's cool. That's I think all. I'm going to keep it. Yeah. Affording to run it, no problem. I can, I can work it out when we get to it. <laughs> Cross that. That's a, that's a point, I keep going to the petrol station and pointing five quid in at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have another escort. <laughs> <laughs> this will get me to the end of the road. <laughs>